Uh, you would expect a 10, three-time bottle of wine to be a little better than a seven-pound bottle. Uh, and, um, but those extra three pounds could make it twice as good a bottle, according to UK winemakers. That's primarily because of the way alcohol duties have been structured in the room and making sure that uh, now that formula has changed thanks to new duties that start today uh, in this year's spring budget. Chancellor of the Exchequer Jeremy Hunt announced a shakeup on alcohol duty. Instead of imposing a tax based on the product, for example, wine, when we have six companies since the 2020 August budget is now based on the strength or the drinks alcohol by volume for a bottle of Winders 12 and a half percent ABD still white wine this means the duty will increase by 44 pence a bottle or 20 percent from two pounds 23 to two pounds 67 pounds the tax on fortified wines will inject the title even more given their higher alcohol content uh, the wine and spirit trade association has called it the biggest single duty hike since 1975, uh, which means if you're looking for wine that's both good quality and good value, you'll probably be selecting um, different bottles than you were before. Uh, alcohol duty is a regressive tax uh, rather than being based on the wine's price tag. It's charged by unit alcohol, meaning that a five pound bottle of 12.5% ABV uh, wine could be subject to the same amount of duty as a thousand pound bottle with the same ABV that means a substantial chunk of the sale price of the cheaper bottle is going to East Checker, but a much smaller proportion of the cost of a pricier one. Uh, figures calculated before the duty change by wine supplier Babendum found that because of tax and other fixed costs, including packaging and shipping, just 21 pence of a five pound 50 million pounds, and it rose to one pound 46 for a six pound, six pounds, 31 pounds. For a seven pound 50 bottle, it rose to one pound 46. For a six pound, 15 pounds, that's gonna go into six. And then this is the second pound and the second. Uh, and therefore, a wine's quality could increase dramatically once you spend a little more at the lower end of the market. There's a point at eight to nine pounds uh, a bottle where the quality gets much better suddenly uh, said Roy Gillingham, uh, owner of Thurum Wine Cellar, uh, uh, a vintner in Hampshire. Uh, um, however, the amount of money that goes to winemakers will change as duties go up, and Gillingham is increasing the price of normal strain from 11.5 to 14.5 percent. Still, wines he sells by 50 to 60 pence to cover the increase of the 44 pence plus value added tax. Because of that, he recommends avoiding the now less than eight pound wines, which will be virtually undrinkable, as an even lower proportion of the shelf price will be going to winemaker statics and create a quality product. In an honest world, you need to spend 12 pounds to get a really nice bottle. Gillingham added, other wine sellers agree. Seb Evans, co-founder of Wine Drops, an online wine seller, said that spending 10 pounds to 15 pounds per bottle is now the best value for money. While Harriet Kinnon Month, wine trading director at CNC Group, said that at 12 pounds, you can get a pretty good wine that she would be happy to serve to her friends. Uh, some experts believe this will encourage uh, producers to make wines weaker because rates for the new uh, alcohol duty uh, depend on the ABV in a survey uh, done by Proof Insight, a, a UK market research group, 27% uh, of shoppers uh, said they would prefer um, the alcohol level to be reduced uh, to maintain the Kerm, uh, make a job of maintain 15 countries into the Bombard, and it gave it to job of their wine um, after the duty change. The, they also ranked the ABV and price the most important. Uh, uh, Kinnaman says she expects the new tax system will encourage winemakers to make lower strength wine over time, especially for the entry level part of the market uh, that's particularly price sensitive. Uh, they will pay aggressively less duty, offering better value for money and tapping into the moderation trend, she said.
and she added that all retailers are reviewing their entry-level ABVs. And she expects all house and entry-level wines will drop below 11.5% ABV in national accounts. Uh, this could mean two things. First, that might lead to a preference for wines that have a naturally lower alcohol level, like Hamen, Muscadet, or Riesling. Wines produced in colder climates also tend to have a lower ABV. However, Gillingham said this is becoming more difficult because of climate change. He estimates the average Alsatian wine has gone up by one ABV percentage point in the last 30 years. The grapes get ripened more than they used to, he said. And the other approach is to mechanically remove alcohol from the wine after production. Kinnanmont said her group is working with a New Zealand supplier that uses spinning cone technology, uh, a machine that spins wine to either completely or partially remove alcohol. Our advice to suppliers is to manage your alcohol down. Every half a percent will make a difference to the cost of wine in the UK, she said. Um, another option is to seek wine regions um, that offer the best value for money. Um, Evans recommends Portuguese wines for value. Um, the whites in particular are for the average consumer uh, quite attractive. They're not too strong, quite fruity, easy drinking for the summer, he said. Gillingham agreed. Portugal is a great undiscovered region because don't understand the great names, so they ignore it. Uh, Ken Inmont's recommendations are similar. Uh, Vino Verde from northern Portugal, Beaujolais or German Riesling. Uh, whatever you do, Gillingham has one piece of advice. Life is too short to drink cheap wine. <laughs>